Hi there, it's Sky again. So today in this video, I'm gonna talk about how my experience of wearing Ortho K and also some routine cleaning of the Ortho K. I start have the idea of wearing Ortho K is around June this year. One of my colleagues, her son is wearing Ortho K and she told me like her son don't need to wear anything in the daytime. I was like, wow, what amazing things. Cause I wearing the glasses since I was a little girl. So I really want to get rid of the glasses. So I did a Google research on the um, Ortho K. Basically Ortho K is a hard contact lenses that you wore at night. So you can see here, I got my Ortho K in here. So if you take the lenses out, it's not soft, it's hard, so it's rigid. So you wore these things at night and it's gonna be change your curvature of your cornea which will reduce the fraction error of your eyes. So the next day, if you have a very good correction of the author okay, you don't need to wear anything in the daytime. Then I found a place to offer this service and I, I have a consultant with the optometrist, so I decided to have a try. After a week later, I did my eyes mapping. Basically, the mapping is like measuring your cornea and your eyes, which collecting the data for making the lenses. After two weeks later, is around end of July, so I got my Ortho K and I start wearing it. I still remember the next day when I woke up, when I took out of the lenses, I feel like, wow, things change because my right eye's vision is clearly better than my left eye's, which is vice versa before. I feel like very happy about it. And the second day, the third day my vision become better and better so I'm very excited about it but things change in the fifth days when I wake up and I try to look at my phone and then I found I cannot see things clearly when I see the uh, words and everything then I am very panicked so I was like wow what's going on with my eyes is something wrong with Ortho K so I called my optometrist and he is very calm and he say oh it's okay I will tell you more about it during the um, consultant so after a week later I have a consultant with him and I found myself got a, a stimulism which caused by the uneven of your cornea then we did a mapping the result showing actually I got a more correction in my lower pupil rather than the above my above pupil is like minus six correction and my my lower part is like minus eight so they have minus two different which causes a stimulism. Later on, he sent the result of the, to the lab. One week later, I got a new pair of lenses and I start my second lens try. But things is not going the, in the way we think. So I still got a stimulism and I think it's a little bit worse than the first lenses. Like after I wear the lenses for two weeks, my lens broke. Then I got my third lens in the beginning of the September. So I tried my third lens for two weeks, but this time the stimulation reduced a little bit. But the problem is when I took out the lenses for four or five or six hours, in that time it's okay. But after that, I feel my vision become worse because um, when I drive, uh, from work to home and I cannot see things clearly, which means this lens cannot cover um, for 8 or even 10 hours per day. So in my last consultant, we take everything into account and we finally decided like, I'm not suitable for Auto K. I'm gonna stop wearing it. Um, so yeah, that's the pretty much how I start my Auto K and how I uh, end my Auto K. Now I'm gonna show you uh, how I doing the routine cleaning of the author K. If you are wearing author K now, hope this is gonna help you. And I'm gonna talk more about who is suitable for wearing author K and the price of author K later on. In terms of how to pull a lens in, so first you need to have the author K lens it's here. So um, basically they design to different color. And my optometrist asked me to try the 
my right eye first because I got a high prescription in this eyes. That's our target lens, that's a purple one in here. The solution inside is a multi-purpose solution. It can use for cleaning the lens and the storage the, the lens as well. Another thing you need is a mirror. So a mirror can see your eyes, no need very big. This size should be fine. Another thing is you need to have this tear of tears. It's basically is artificial tears but that can moisturize your eyes and make the lens easy to touch your eyes. Last, we have a sucker here as well. We use this one uh, for the next day morning when you want to take the lens up, but I will tell you why we need it, just in case. Okay, so what do we do first? We need to wash your hand. That's very important. After we wash the hand thoroughly, okay, and I already wash my hand, we take out the lens in here, so that's the first steps. We open and carefully to take out the lens. Great. I put this one in my finger. And now what do we do? We use this teratis. So this is the disposed one, so once you use it, don't use it again. Because uh, there's no preservative inside. Great, so we drop two in the lens. We got mirror here. We don't wearing also K lens like um, normal soft contact lenses because this is very heavy. When you vertical your finger like this, the uh, lens gonna drop. So, so that's why we cannot wearing like this so we need to put in the horizontal and what do you do you kind of like lower your head and you put the mirror down and you open your eyes widely like you wearing a normal contact lenses and you put your ortho k lensing so how you know you put your ortho k in the correct place my optometrist said if you can see the things clearly then you put in the correct place otherwise or you feel very uncomfortable uh, probably the lens is in different place when your lens put in the wrong way what do you do that's why we need to prepare the sucker just in case how to use the sucker you can see this is sucker you hold your hand like this and then you squeeze a little bit when you squeeze it you put the sucker on the lens in your eyes and then you release the sucker then you can create the little vacuum inside of the sucker and your lens can easily to take out that's how you use it after you put your lens correctly into your eyes next step go to sleep immediately i'll see you guys next day morning see ya
I hope all the cleaning routine is helping you. Now, in the end of the video, I'm gonna talk about how I feel of of the Ortho K. I still not regret I tried Ortho K, even if it is not working for me, because I still have like around two or three months, then I can see things basically clearly with my own eyes, so which I'm very happy. Um, in terms of who is suitable for wearing Ortho K, for short sighted, I think if your prescription is um, lower than minus five, it's it gonna be maybe working for you. And also it's very suit for kids, which don't have high prescription, because some cases is like, if you only have minus one or minus two, and the kids wearing Ortho K maybe can reverse their vision to the normal one, so which means correct their vision permanently. So they have some case study like that. In terms of the price, I would say Ortho K is not cheap. For me, it cost me 1,900, uh, and this including the the solution and the lenses and also the consultation fee. After one year, the Ortho K price gonna be 450 per lens, and. The solution is only for once use, it's not for the whole year. The solution is only can last for, I would say, half a year. It depends on how you use it. If you want to buy the package again like this, it's gonna cost you like 220 New Zealand dollars. Not only that, we have like daily solution before you wearing the lenses like this. This is like sterile and packed individually and you can use only once per day. This gonna cost you like around 25 bucks per month. So if you add everything up, also okay, it's not cheap. So think about it when you're doing it. For me, and I really don't want to do the laser thing because that's a permanent reshape your cornea. So I tr I would like to try this one and also because my prescription is still changing. So I'm not super for laser as well. So if you are only lower uh, pre prescription and you feel like uh, the maintenance of the ortho K is not a problem for you, you have time, you have the money, I think ortho K is the right choice for you. Okay, that's pretty much is today's video and I hope you enjoy it. And if you're still considering wearing also okay, I hope this video will help you to make a decision. If you like my video and myself, please subscribe and like me. If you have any question about also okay, please leave a comment below and I will answer as much as I can. And yeah, that's pretty much it is. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!